Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to start Affinity Designer and I'm going to show you how to do masking of uh, shapes and things like that. Right, so I'm going to start off with a rectangle, the easiest one really. And um, then I'm going to add a picture. Let's try to go back. I don't need to go on that. I need to go back, um, back on there. Go to photos wrong one photos and background I'm gonna go to marble background go on there pick up that one and drag that across all the way over that rectangle and further on beyond right and then what I need to do is plonk the picture from the layers panel into the rectangle and there we have the the uh, finished article that's the mask there it is now encompassing that part of the photo the other parts will not be shown while it's in there like that and you can drag it either way to fit, fit your needs with just that picture that part of the actual photo if you want to change it and alter the photo you go click on the photo itself rather than the mask and then you move it accordingly like that or that way even if you wanted to squash it down or whatever say if you've got a family photo or something right now well, and we just put that back up and then we'll just resize this a bit so i want that to be like a background for a collage maybe so you can do that as well so what you do now is you add your collage um masks and you have a heart shape a circle or oval shape and a rounded rectangle down here or something and then you can add PNGs anything like backgrounds or anything to them that you want so we'll go on with uh, another photo but this one of people we get people family in general somewhere let's just get a family somewhere there Let that one not out we'll just put them ones in that heart shape like that somewhat like that then all I need to do is just drag them over to the heart shape and they're inside that like that now you can also with them you can add uh, a background colour to the to the masks that you're making like that and then you can add bit pictures if you wanted to like a transparent background uh, image let's I'll go and find some um, transparent photo images I go to P for people uh, people whoops that one and add that person that person in uh -uh. right you can you can just cut the legs off by just doing that and having them like that and then go in onto the layer and then putting that person in there like that then if you want to move alter the layer you stretch with it yeah and then you could you could add another image to it I think as well possibly let's try a different image add another image to it like that one as well we could add that one to it maybe that might be alright as well put him on there like that right just hang on this, the two clowns there and um, let's put them on as well like that there we go 
we've got the bow, all three of them together on that image right and then you got other things you can use like clip art we'll get some clip art in uh, do that next with the clip art um, just wait a minute I'll find some clip art clip art background portrait that's what we want background portrait now we don't we want the landscape any landscape that's it we'll do that one put that one in there Hey, come on, is it? I don't think. Where's that gone? Oh, I haven't done it, have I? Wait a minute. I think I made a mistake there. Let's have a look, see if that's on there. No, I haven't. I don't think. Oh, that is, that's why. Put it in the wrong place. Never mind. It's there now. Right. That's the landscape there. Oops, I moved everything. Right, so you got the landscape in there, and can you add something else to that landscape, like um, a little clip art picture of an animal, maybe? Let's have a look. What's that one? Yeah, add that one on top of there. Go on, and then put that there. And there's an elephant in the middle of a forested area sitting on a circus thing I assume that is anyway so that's the way you use masking anyway uh, hope you liked my tutorial and um, hope you find it useful I mean you can use the background colors that I put on as borders anyway and you, you can adjust all the pictures as necessary if you want to I'd still see the background but all the colour by just doing that, knocking that down. You can do that if you wanted to. Now just to make it more appealing if you if you wish and put the character up a bit further. Like that's so how that'd look like it was proper border or whatever. Or you could add a different pattern instead as a background and then you know and then make a gap between that and the next picture that you've added on but if you drop them in like that they'll be masked within that area so look if I do this now all that will be stretched when I'm stretching up if I stretch it across because it's masked within that layer ok so now you have uh, know all about masking within Affinity Designer if you have any questions please contact me I, I do Appreciate any comments coming back and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you. Bye bye.